Hey, what's going on, fellow YouTubers? It's uh, Matt here, and I am at a lake next to where I live. And uh, figured I'd get out for a couple hours to try to find something. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go metal detecting today. So, if you look to my side right here, I've got my Fisher F22. Uh, this one runs about 300 bucks, but I mean, it's got tons of settings, and you can actually uh, cancel out different stuff such as copper, aluminum. I mean, if you want to find coins or jewelry or artifacts, it's. Uh, Kind of up to you as far as what you want to do in the settings. But I've got my Fisher F22. Then I also carry my gloves. It's always important to have these when you're out metal detecting. You never know what you're going to end up touching. And then let's see what else I got. I got my hydration backpack with my water hose. Always important to have uh, some type of hydration when you're out doing, you know, metal detecting, especially out the heat. And then uh, I also carry my uh, pouch. If you look down here, you can see I've got my pin pointer. These come in handy when you're uh, out looking for stuff, doing metal detecting. It's always important to have a pin pointer on you. It uh, pretty much saves time, and you don't have to use your metal detector to actually, you know, you know, hold it and go down deeper into the sand. This will find it right away. And these only run off 9-volt batteries, but I paid about 50 bucks for this one. If you want the more expensive pin pointers, you can start looking up into the Garrett brand. Um, they run about 130 so I've got that and then I've also got my camo pouch if you look on my pouch I've it's got two different inserts one for trash and the other one separates coins so you got two different uh, pockets in there and then I also carry it's always important to have some type of tool on you when you're out I always carry this I got off Amazon for about 30 bucks but it's always important to have some type of tool especially when you're digging um, I also carry a mini shovel that I have. I, I just don't have it on me today. I left it in my vehicle. So, but I mean, metal detecting, I've found some pretty cool stuff, and uh, it just depends where you go. I'm doing it more for, uh, you know, Civil War relics. If I can find anything out here in Tennessee where I live, there's uh, tons of, uh, you know, old battlegrounds from back in the day. So, um, yeah, this is just an introduction to me starting my metal detecting. I've been doing this for a little while now, so uh, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll have some videos coming up. Thanks.